Welcome to Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Today we have a JL Audio 13 TW5 V2-4 uh, 13 inch shallow subwoofer. Uh, I was exposed to this type of technology uh, when Pioneer first introduced their shallow subwoofers uh, for the very first time. And the reason for that is they actually uh, were doing some research and finding out that there's less and less uh, space for people who wanted to add an enclosure in their cars, just like uh, for uh, applications like uh, pickup trucks and smaller SUVs. Uh, there, uh, people were not wanting to add a large enclosure to be able to still produce a lot of bass for their music. So uh, companies like Pioneer and now JL came out with a shallow sub and this particular subwoofer is very, very interesting because of the, the way they engineered uh, this sub. What they did here is that they were able to take a voice coil and put it outside of the magnet. So this magnet actually sits in the basket and the voice coil is outside. Now in conventional uh, speakers, the magnet is usually outside of the, the, the basket and the voice coil is actually sits inside. So this is again, uh, an engineering feat that, that JL, I guess, um, pretty much perfected. Uh, it's, it's very cool. It's got a seven inch voice coil and a big magnet structure that actually just sits right inside the basket. This is only um, two, two and five eighth inches in depth. So you can put this in a very, very small enclosure, like a 0.8 cubic feet of, um, of an enclosure or a box and still produce a low bass. And this is uh, rated at 20 to 200 hertz. So it hits pretty low for such a thin uh, sub. An important factor with any subwoofer is uh, the cone has to be very, very stiff, but at the same time light, so it doesn't take as much power to actually push the cone. Uh, it has to be stiff because uh, you want to avoid any kind of flexing that will affect sound quality. And uh, this sub uh, uh, uses a mica-filled polypropylene cone. Uh, this is about 9.5 inches wide. And then it's got a santaprene rubber surround, which is about uh, an inch and a half in width. So it has a very long throw. Uh, it's, that's particularly important when it comes to subwoofers because uh, the further or the, the longer the throw, uh, you know, the more or the lower base you can get um, as well. So anyway, um, that is a, a really important factor is both the, the rubber surround and the cone uh, to be able to push and pull um, the air that you're trying to move. Anyway, um, this is a 4 ohm subwoofer. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the impedance on this. I've got my meter out here and let's go ahead and do this. And as you'll see that it is a about 3.9 to four. Uh, I just got to let it rest here. you go 3.7 at one point in time I had it at uh, or it was reading at four so that's about right when it comes to and there it is uh, when it comes to the impedance again application is important uh, depending on uh, power that you're trying to use with the sub or your amplifier um, if you're trying to bridge it or anything like that um, again this is a four ohm driver and um, it is spec at uh, between 250 watts and 600 watts of uh, uh, power that you can uh, actually apply to it. It's got a 
max or peak handling at 1200 watts. Um, and it's got a frequency response of, uh, like I said, 20 to 200 hertz with a sensitivity of 85.63 dB. Again, this is a really cool technology that JL Audio came up with, uh, the shallow sub. Um, if you're looking for uh, producing low bass in a very small enclosure, this might be something you want to look into. Uh, this particular sub does have some, um, some scratches um, or scuffs on the cone, which doesn't really do much um, to affect the uh, sound quality. But you do want to make sure that this cone is very stiff and, um, and that, that mycophil polypropylene is a nice... Uh, very stiff cone but it's not a heavy cone so here are um, again let me do a close-up of what you can how would you expect out of this particular sub um, you can see here this this rubber is like super thick it is very heavy as you'd expect um, because it is a large subwoofer it's probably like I don't know like 18 pounds um and here's the back again it's got a um i don't know if this is a exactly like a i don't know if this is aluminum or or what but this is a nice basket um, um again very large magnet structure and here's a peak of the in between this thing if you can see that there you go. All right, so that's pretty much it. I just really wanted to do a, a quick overview on this JL thirteen TW five V two dash four sub. And if you like these kind of videos, uh, please um, join my channel which is beyond soup where i put up all sorts of stuff from electronics to how to's to just generally diy stuff as well anyway thanks uh for watching and um i'll see you on the next video